Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part 7 of how to use face reading to strengthen your communication skills. The focus of this part will be on the eyes. I will talk about certain elements of the eyes, primarily their size, their level and the distance apart. But first some general information about the eyes. Now those people who are familiar with NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, will be well aware that eye pattern detection is an essential part of a practitioner's skill set. Now you may have noticed that when people think and talk, their eyes move in certain directions. They literally go inside to access a memory or to bring into consciousness a new thought. Now so by observing eye movements, you will gain very valuable insights into the thought processes of a person. Take a look at this graphic. When a person's eyes go up to their left or right, they are processing visually. When a person's eyes stay level as their eyes dart to their left or right, they are thinking in sounds. Now as you look at a person, up to the left is visual create, and up to the right is visual recall, visual remembered. Horizontally to your left, as you look at a person, is auditory create, and to the right is auditory remembered. When a person's eyes go down to the left, as you look at them, they are accessing their feelings. When a person's eyes go down to the right, as you look at them, they are listening to their own internal dialogue, their own self-talk. I hope you found that worthwhile. So let's get back to the elements of the eyes. As said, I will look at the size, the level, and the distance apart. Now, the right eye conforms to left brain functioning, and the left eye conforms to right brain functioning. So each eye represents a different aspect of a person's life. So what you need to do is to check to see whether one eye is larger than the other eye, or whether one eye is higher or lower in the face than the other eye. Now, if a person is left eye dominant, in other words, the left eye is larger or higher in the face, then this is a person who puts a premium on personal relationships. They are very good with personal relationships. If the right eye is dominant, you are looking at a person whose self-worth is derived from the external world. Now, for example, they may put their career first. Unsurprisingly, you get politicians, CEOs, CFOs, maybe even UFOs who have this characteristic. Now, given eyes come in pairs, unless your name is Cyclops, let's look at them in the same way. First of all, we'll look at large eyes and small eyes. Now, by large eyes, I don't mean protruding eyes, just eyes that are relatively larger than normal. Now, first of all, large eyes. Now, these people tend to be emotionally expressive. In fact, almost everything is dealt with from an emotional perspective. They have a warm enthusiasm and they're often extroverted. You can literally see what is going on in this person's life. The eyes reveal it all. Now small eyes. These people are cautious and less outgoing. They much prefer to work alone. They can lack emotional control and may even lack energy. Next we'll look at closed set eyes and wide set eyes. Now with closed set eyes, these people tend to be focused, conscientious and dependable. They are comfortable with detailed work. In fact, they are problem solvers. However, they can be narrow-minded and often fail to see the bigger picture. They are also relatively critical. Now, with wide-set eyes, these eyes signal a broad-minded person who can see the whole picture. They do tend to get easily distracted and they don't like details. They are tolerant, but they can stay in a negative mindset. They're also prone to taking on far too many tasks. Now we'll look at deep set eyes and protruding eyes. Now the people with deep set eyes are private people with a tendency to be secretive. They are cautious, watchful and observant. They're also deep thinkers and evaluate everything. In fact, they're extremely observant and emotionally reflective. Protruding eyes people are very interesting. They like to be included in everything that's going on. They are not concerned with running the show, but they definitely want to be included. They want to be accepted and appreciated. They are enthusiastic people 
and thoroughly enjoy participating. Life is not a spectator sport to them. Finally, we'll look at the level of the eyes. Here we'll look at eyes that are horizontally level, eyes that slant upwards, and eyes that slant downwards. First of all, eyes that are horizontally level. Here we have a balanced view of life. These people are on the level with a balanced perception of what life is all about. Objectivity is the more likely perspective that they hold, and they can see both sides of the picture. Eyes that slant upwards. Now they are generally optimistic, positive people. They anticipate things will turn out for the best. They can get disappointed and discouraged when things do not go their way. But the disappointment is often just a passing mood. They can look down their nose at others. They are motivated and they're risk takers. Now we'll look at eyes slanting downwards. Now these people are kind, loyal, generous and sincere people. They are extremely capable of solving problems and actually have the ability to anticipate them in advance. They do tend to be negative and pessimistic simply because they see the dark side first. Remember to look at both eyes to see which eye is pointing more downwards. This will largely reveal whether the issue at hand is professional or personal. Basically, you are looking at a sensitive and caring person. That completes part seven, looking at the eyes. In the next part, I'll be dealing with the eyebrows. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Please visit my website, knowyourmind.com, and my blog, mikelally.com, and make contact if you wish. Please remember, you have many faces. Let's put them to use. Let's begin to observe and notice what a person's eyes are telling us. And be mindful. The face says, this is who I am. So until we chat again, take care. Cheerio for now.